wild kitty. Are you hungry? Should I feed you? Yeah? Are you wild? Can I pet you? Come here. Kitty kitty. No? Another wild kitty to feed? Are you gonna fight? She doesn't want to fight with Elvie. It's a big snowball. <laughs> she wants to kick that cat's butt. She doesn't want to get her feet wet, though. <laughs> She's so mean. little bit of a catastrophe but um, I'm sure we can handle it yet again just another setback that's farming hi there welcome to my channel I'm Christy I am from northern Alberta Canada if you're new here I grow um, a lot of our food and preserve a lot of our food and I also have a small-scale flower farm where I grow and harvest cut flowers for local florists in our area and our community so welcome <laughs> today is a farm vlog day and i've been trying to find ways to keep you guys 
in the loop of what I'm doing and how I'm growing stuff. And it's been kind of challenging getting some content just because this time of the year is super busy. Here's the dilemma that we're facing right now. We're in the first week of April. My plants, uh, my, first, my first shipment of cut flowers was shipped this morning from New Brunswick and they're on their way here. They will be here in a couple of days and I need to pick them up and bring them home, unbox them and get them hydrated, get them under lights. Um, technically, my goal was to put them in my greenhouse, which not this greenhouse, I'll show you. Just give me a sec. My goal was to put them in there. That one. But we don't have heat on in it yet. The reason we don't have heat on it yet is because the furnace, and I didn't even think about it when we were setting it up and getting everything ready. Um, I didn't even think about it, but the furnace does not have a natural gas kit, even though they usually come um, natural gas. I knew it was hooked up to propane, but I didn't even think about it that it was converted from natural gas to propane. And so the dilemma now is if I need parts or if I need to get it set up, it's a couple of days before we get that stuff here to hook it up. A couple of days is when I have plants arriving. So uh, <laughs> the dilemma is I need to make space inside of my house in put stuff into the cold frame also get my office building set up with some heat going in there so i have to take the heat out of the chicken coops and put it into my as a backup for if the fire goes out um and if we have any dip downs and i need to just kind of compensate for these plants for the time being and i don't have enough light so i might have to go pick up some shop lights just to make sure that these plants are not going to suffer because there's no heat in my heated greenhouse um, until we can get parts. Now, a couple of days from now, it's not a big deal for us to get these conversion kits, but the problem of it is, is that I have another shipment of plants to go pick up the same time when the parts are supposed to be coming in. And that's a seven and a half hour drive away. And we don't know what day we're gonna get them because we'll get them when they unload them, which we don't have an actual schedule for. So the... <laughs> The lessons in this is learn to chill, you know, learn to chill. Um, it will all work out in the end, even though I don't know where I'm going to put 1200 plugs in two days, <laughs> or I don't know where I'm going to be putting 12,000 started plants in four days but i will find room there might be a lot of plants in my living room there might be a lot of plants in my dining room kitchen bathrooms and laundry room which my laundry room is already full of plants uh, <laughs> the office will be full we do have a shop but we have animals and such that like to go in there so um yeah might do is just go get some sort of a heater that we can put in there that's temporary and make like a even if i have to tarp it in and put like an infrared heater inside there temporarily i might have to do that until i can get the conversion kit for my furnace for the greenhouse the things that i didn't think about um you know, I think buying, here's the thing. If you're ever going to buy a used greenhouse oops, of any sort, don't buy it and set it up in November and expect to have stuff ready to go in the spring because it, it's a lot to do. There's a lot to it. And, you know, you just never know. You need to have some time to set up and get going. So um, it's, it'll be fine. It'll all work out in the end, I'm sure of it. So I'll show you what I do have in here. Now, there's a few things that are quite interesting. These guys here, these are artichokes, Imperial Star artichokes. I have not grown these before. 
usually we cannot grow them here because artichokes typically are a like like you have to they don't flower or produce until the second year so these guys are called imperial star artichoke they're thornless so that make the the that's a bonus for production if you are using these to harvest um as food but these are also good for cut flowers and so i'm going to be using them for both cut flowers and for um eating so that's cool these guys though um they need a cold period so they need to have at least 11 days where it is under, or where it's 10 degrees Celsius uh, for at least 11 days. So it's perfect for them in here because it is cold. It is like mine, or it is plus 15 degrees Celsius in here right now, approximately. So it's a little warmer than what they like, but, and they should be in the ground. However, I thought I could put a few of these in pots, like the 15 gallon pots and then move them around. You can't because they need to be one meter apart. So I need to figure out where I'm gonna put nine of these plants and I have one more in the house that was a little smaller. So I need to kind of configure what I'm gonna do with that. Oh, look at this guy. No jacket. Huh? Do you want me to do chores now? What do you think, it's summertime? Well, I was just coming outside just for a little bit. Huh? I was just coming outside for a little bit. I'm just taking my garbage out. So. You're not cold. It's, it's like plus five outside. It's what? It's like plus five outside. Plus five, so that's like summer? Yeah. Short sleeve? Pretty much. Where's your shorts? I, at school, my gym strip. Hmm. Those are your only shorts? No, but. Yeah, it's pretty warm outside today. Plus five is really warm, hey? Yep. Hmm. So tango celery and then the Utah celery. This is the tango here and this is the Utah. And they both can actually um, handle some cool weather. They're, they'll be fine with that. And then the onions are good with cold weather. And then these are leeks and they're okay with the cold weather. But I'm gonna be able to just pop this out and take it in if it gets really cold. So in this bed, I I don't have anything in here. I don't have anything in this bed here. I didn't direct sow anything and I just wanted to kind of amend this. I've been putting moisture in here as much as I possibly can because in a couple days, well on Wednesday, um, I have ranunculus that I'm planting in this bed. Um, I actually was planning to put ranunculus in one of these beds, like that one right there. I don't know if you can see it. I show you, hold on. So this bed right here, I shoveled it around it because I wanted to plant ranunculus in there. But what I was planning to do was get my little tractor and lift this box up and move that box and put it inside of this thing this greenhouse and then I could just wheelbarrow some dirt in or pack some dirt in and plant my rodunculus in there to get some early going. But I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that yet. I also have another shipment of corms that I haven't started yet. They'll be going in this box here that we used to be the pool planter where all that grass is kind of bent over. So that's gonna be in another couple weeks. I'm gonna have to shovel around there just to get it started to melt. And then so I can dress it, pull, I can clip out the, the grasses and then start dressing it with soil and get those corms, the ranunculus corms in there. And then by that time I should have the chickens locked up and out of my hair. Yeah, you guys, I see you. I see you causing trouble over there. So one of the places that I ordered from is called Jolly Farmer. Now, the reason I ordered from Jolly Farmer is because they had Lysianthus starts that um, I could get and also ranunculus corms at wholesale pricing. Now, ranunculus, the issue with ranunculus that I had when I was ordering, when I got that greenhouse, I couldn't get 
um, a whole like the wholesale accounts that I could get in Canada here they were sold out of the ranunculus by the time I put my order in so the only way I could get ranunculus was if I paid retail and so I did order some retail to put in but then I realized you know I had this greenhouse and I wanted to amp up my game so then I what I ended up doing was ordering some uh, started corms of ranunculus from Jolly Farmer. And I only have one tray coming, so there's not a lot. It should fit. The majority of them should fit in here. The thing about ranunculus is they don't stay in here all season, so I can get my blooms until it warms up. It gets warm, and then I will be pulling them out and planting something else anyway. So that's my, my what I'm planning to do. The rest of that order, I have eucalyptus coming, which I need to make space inside of my house um, on my grow shelves for the eucalyptus. I might actually move them into my office building. I need to get some grow shelves set up in there still since I moved them out. Um, I need to buy some more, which I ordered, I ordered a grow shelf, the same one I ordered last year. And I even hit the buy the same on the same SKU and everything and order again option on Amazon. And I got one that was half the size. I was so mad, it had the same SKU, it had the same everything, and it was half the size. So I'm gonna go shopping in our local so stores and see if they have anything that could work for me so I don't have to get all angry again. <laughs> so yeah, this is the box that I was talking about that I will be planting the ranunculus forms into. So I'm just going to have to come in and sort of like move some of the snow away. These tables, we wanted to move them so I can get them inside of the greenhouse, but they're still froze down, like really froze down. And we're supposed to get a warm day. Look at that. It's like full of ice. That's the planting bin. Um, so yeah. This will be one of the bigger projects to do to get my corms in. But it shouldn't be bad. These are really giant plants, so I'll just cut them at the base. And then um, once that's all cleared off and we get a good couple good warm days, it'll get nice and warm. And then I could just top, top dress it with some new soil and we'll be able to plant right on into it. And then I just cover it with like a row cover. Look at this kid out there, no clo no jacket, My or plus five. <laughs> it actually is nice when you're working, it gets pretty warm. We're sort of used to a lot colder. So all in all, I'm pretty excited. I think that it seems like we're really far behind and we probably are, <laughs> but I just keep telling myself, we're on time, we're on track, everything is fine. I will show you what happened though to one of my, my beds that I was putting my status into. Um, yeah. What do you think, baby? Good spot? What are you doing? Come here. Come on. <laughs> Is it deep? Good girl. Yeah, good girl. Good, good girl. So I did before I had, this was all planted up with sunflowers the past few years. I wanted to rip all those sunflowers out because there's like a cistern here and like the hole to go down into the cistern for fresh water, backup water. Um, but all of the snow that was in the yard kind of, we got, or in this area got pushed up on top. So my status was supposed to go in here that I have in the house. And that, the reason I wanted to put it in here is because it would be easy. Um, usually it's really easy because this will thaw out really quickly. But now that got stacked on top. So I might only be able to plant half of this with status. Just bring in some dirt because status can handle cooler temperatures. Same with the yarrow. I might put the yarrow in here. I just need to bring in a bunch more compost and such. And so it's not bad. I mean... We're behind, but not really, not that bad, right? <laughs> it's, it could be worse. So the next project will be to set up some grow. I'm gonna have to move this couch and stuff and set up some grow shelves. This is in my office. 
since well i might i could have probably set some up here as well this is where like i had this was my home base for my gift shop my online gift shop and since i've closed that down i, I don't need to have a lot of this stuff in here anymore so yeah i can just kind of arrange and tidy stuff up i won't need all this packing supplies and stuff for shipping and i'll have to put that stuff away and just set up some grow shelves for my my lights because this was this is, i use it not only do i use this as um my like my basically my little store my gift shop store home base this was also like my office space for doing any type of work that i i do um online with clients um or this is where i actually make bracelets and such and also this is my potting shed so it's like and 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 this is also our guest shack whenever we're in a pinch <laughs> so it's the it's the home of all things in this little building i love it and it smells nice it smells better than my house my house smells like fish emulsion and chickens and the last time I showed this little building, someone asked about the chandelier. Yes, it is a dandelion puff chandelier, which I love. I love it. So yeah, I got my wood stove in here. It's a disaster. This is my little flower cart. This actually came from my aunt that just recently passed away. And I'm going to be using this for my flowers, um, for my cut flowers and stuff like that. And uh, it'll make it really easy for me. And I also got this beautiful photo from my aunt. When I was, the last time I spoke to my aunt on the phone, I was planting seeds. And the seeds I was planting were actually what's in the greenhouse, those little lupin seeds. And delphiniums, lupins and delphiniums. And this was hanging inside the door of her apartment or her condo when we went there um, to clean it out. It was just so fitting, so I knew I had to bring it home. And I'm glad I did. I just need to find a place to put it up in here. Since this will be where I harvest and place my cut flowers for uh, before they, they get sent out or de for delivery to the florists. I think it would be a beautiful photo to have in here. I think those guys are having some fun over there. So because we feed with round bales of hay, we have to, we, and we, we want to prevent our horses from getting a cough or getting like, getting any kind of allergy activation from any dust or anything in the, in the hay. We shake it out the night before. It's a rule. I always say make a nice pile so that whoever feeds next, I feed in the morning, Chaz feeds at night. So I tell him, make a nice pile shake it out, make a nice pile. So then it's easy to kind of give it a shake and then feed the horses in the morning. And he, the last couple days, it wasn't done. And I kind of got after him a bit. And I said, make sure you don't forget to make a pile of hay. And he's like, I did, I did do it. And I come out and there's no pile of hay. Um, but I guess <laughs> we've seen why what's happening. Those guys are naughty. He actually did it. These guys are undoing it. I just watched him make a pile and now these guys come over and they're ch -ch 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 -ch. So he did do his chores. These guys undid it for him. So I better go say, tell him I know that he did his chores and I'm sorry for not believing him. Is that a parenting fail or a parenting win? Could it be a parenting so-so? Is that a thing? I vote that it is. So-so. So-so should be like a parenting so-so. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. I think there should be a such thing as a parenting so-so. I vote yes. Tell me in the comments.
So you think you can get it in there? Yeah. Let's see your let's see what you got, kid. Mm -hmm. Huh? Oh no. Oh, I don't know. I'm a don't hit my truck. Oh, I would never. I'll put your head in the toilet if you do. You've been playing basketball after school every two or a second day for the last month, two months. But, but, that, but that was a, a while ago. There you go. Oh, I'm so thank you for hanging out with me today and seeing all the progress and the not so much progress that we've made here in our little hobby farm, flower farm. Um, I'm sure in a couple days, you're going to see some beautiful little seedlings. Things will be just aligned, just so, and I'll be super excited and a happy, happy mood. And uh, I'm, I'm my plan is to do an unboxing with you guys in the next video. So I do hope that you stick around. Check that one out um, when it comes out in a few days. So wish me luck. At this point, you know, I don't really need luck. I just need to stay positive. Bye for now. Take care.